came across this short video clip of Marcus Spinavella's initial court appearance in Nashville. So let's take a look at this real quick. Your Honor, we've got a fugitive from justice charge taken out by uh, Trooper Cotton with Tennessee Highway Patrol. The defendant is charged on the oath of a criminal person by a judge in the state of Florida. The defendant does now does have issued warrants for his arrest with full extradition. The defendant was stopped for a traffic violation that occurred on I-65 in Murray County. The way he's playing with those handcuffs there almost looked like for a brief second he was contemplating whether or not he could get out of those. But you can't, Marcus. So you might want to just calm down. Oh. He's got the whole from Southern Rose County, Florida, you know. All right. Mr. Spinanello. Are you willing to waive extradition? Not at this moment. Okay. Well, they have a... There's some things... Sir. There are some things that need to be resolved if we're uh, willing to go, to go that route. Okay. Okay, things that need to be resolved if you're willing to go that route. You know, ultimately, in the end, you don't have a choice, right, Marcus? I mean, you really don't. You could take the easy way and just go with it and do the right thing, or, you know, you could make it difficult and, and battle it out in court, but at the end of the day, you're still going to end up in Florida. You're still going to end up facing charges for everything you did, so it's really not going to get you anywhere. But keep playing your games. Well, I'll put you back on the review docket for thir for 13 April, and then we'll meet again to review your status as far as extradition. Okay. I'm just trying to, get, to make sure that my daughter is taken care of. I'm just trying to get to make sure my daughter is taken care of. Really? You think you might want to have thought about that before you did everything that you did? That would have been the smarter decision, but you know, not necessarily looking like a smart person right here, Mr. Marcus. Let's see what else you got to say with the people that, um, that I'm living here with. Okay. So. April, April the 13th, we'll review your extradition status at that time. Under other rules and procedure, they have 10 days in which to notify the state of their intent to extradite. And so... We'll check it back on April the 13th. All right. All right. Your Honor, it's got a fugitive. So that was the initial court appearance for Marcus. Yeah. Didn't seem like he was too concerned about the charges that he's facing. Obviously, he says he's now concerned about his daughter, but seems like that was an afterthought to him. I don't know. Ultimately, at the end of the day, he's going to end up back in Florida, and he's going to end up facing charges for everything that he's done. So not quite sure why he wants to drag this out and take the long way around about doing so. However, I mean, I know it's well within his legal rights to do so. so that's you know, just the way the justice system works. He has the right to fight extradition for as long as they will allow him to do that. Didn't seem like he was too concerned about the charges that were filed against him, though. He's not really showing a lot of emotion on that. 
sad situation, really. They're still waiting for the uh, final like toxicology reports and all that for Cassie's autopsy to come back. And at that time, there will be other charges brought against him from what I'm understanding. And we will keep an eye out for those charges. And when I find that information out, I will bring it to you.